It is almost time to pull out the new calendar. 2022 was full of plenty of highs, lows. I mean, so many moments. Many. Uh, this weekend, it's time to kind of bid farewell to the past year with a, a little humor. Twin Cities comedian and co-creator of The Daily Show, Liz Winstead, is back at the Parkway Theater to help ring in 2023. Her comedy purge of 2022 is called Bad Men and Some Crappy Women. <laughs> Show, I love it. Shows are being held Friday and Saturday night. Uh, Liz is joining us this morning. Uh, thanks for being here. No problem. I'm always like, what can I talk about at quarter to 10 in the morning <laughs> and not get yep, people not fired. Offense. How can I show up uh, and be great? A little different <laughs> than the sets that you'll be putting 100%. on. 100%. Well, Alex and I were texting. She's like, what do you want to talk about? And I'm like, this and this and this. And she goes, okay, no swear. It's like, let's be good. And I was like, okay, we will. I think I can handle that. It's a true story. <laughs> okay, so uh, a lot of your material, we know what it's about. You kind of rip a lot of the headlines yep. and... But how do you narrow that down? And obviously, we, we <laughs> yeah. threw out some subjects. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, there's a lot to call from it's in 2022. Yes. One I crisis mean, from another. Every year has been more and more. To give you an idea, about one page of material for me is about 10 minutes. So I have 65 pages of material oh. that I have to whittle down to a 90-minute show. So really what it boils down to is because social media and Daily Show and everybody is responding to specific things, I might use those specific things as setups for a larger trend or like my observations of things, you know. And so it, I want it to be funny. I want to respond to everything. But I also don't want people to think, didn't I hear 75 jokes about, you know, the raid on Mar-a-Lago? It's like, you did, but you didn't hear my take. Because, you know, <laughs> I mean, when I'm thinking about Trump's, you know, junk drawer, I'm thinking like, what's in there? You know, what's, what's in the junk drawer? Uh, you know, some nuclear secrets, some compromising photos of Lindsey Graham, you know, and, and some yeah. classified documents. You know, it's like, okay, you know, what about the chip clips? Oh, they're there too. <laughs> and the chip clips. <laughs> and the chip clips. Yeah. You just mentioned The Daily Show. You know, Trevor, Trevor Noah, that yeah. was a big story this year, ending his run. Yep. Uh, your take on that and, and any insight into maybe who you could see I mean, taking he did the it right. Reins. Seven years. You know, this is a show that literally takes your whole life. Like when you are working on the show, it takes your whole life. You have to be newsy, smart, funny, you're working 20 hours a day. So what they're doing, which is pretty cool, is they're bringing back some old correspondence. They're going to do some different formats in the sense of sometimes there's going to be two people hosting for a week. They're bringing mm -hmm. back Sarah Silverman, Al Franken, some, and, and then some old people, or not old people, former <laughs> correspondents. <laughs> <laughs> to some people are age. Some old, <laughs> those old dinosaurs. Um, and then I think they're going to... They're going to really test to see what kind of reinvention it will happen. And they'll probably settle on announcing somebody or some people um, sure. in the spring, is what I think. I think any show that continues on for so long, it, you have to evolve and yeah. you have to grab newer audiences, which yeah. would make sense. I'm a big fan of I Trevor never Noah. had children, but I had that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I yes, you that. You that. Keeps, it's the Daily it keeps Show. evolving, and so far, um, you know, I haven't had any troubles with it. <laughs> okay, speaking of shows, and I know both Shane and I are obsessed with the lo White Lotus. Obsessed. Obsessed, oh obsessed. completely. Why do you think that, you know, we're not alone in this? You're, you are obsessed oh, with it as well. Oh, my God, I'm so obsessed. So here's what I think that no one's talking about. This season was entirely about men gaslighting women. <laughs> the whole, every single scenario, You're be right. it the couples, yep. be it the gays, be mm -hmm. it, you know, all of it was, and the, I was like, wow, every single time. There's just like, no, nothing happened. <laughs> yes. And Jennifer Coolidge, if she's not your hero, please just take several seats. You don't, you shouldn't oh. be in social settings. It is Love so, her. she is so great. Um, and so it is, but I do think like that's it. Also, like, don't, don't you just want to go sit, like, oh, you want to stay you? there? Like, you think you want to stay there? But I want yes. to now go to Sicily and mm -hmm. just like take it all in. I think it's also this incredible, um, incredible thing but yeah so I uh, I love it I love I don't you think though oh like, yeah yeah totally obsessed with it obsessed yeah when the ending happened I literally burst out laughing and I, I don't know. think I wasn't sure if that was the right thing to do there I didn't even know what to do it was I, well you don't know yes, what to do course. it's like oh there's the water and there's you in the water and oh my goodness and like I yeah know. just all of it I didn't want that oh. to end that part of it at all but I know I know. know I didn't either and and it was did you have any inkling 
Oh my God, I'm so sorry, people. We'll okay, you uh, yeah. We'll in case you, you haven't seen, but I didn't. I, I got an inkling, kind of, when they went to Palermo, like mm -hmm. when she went. It was like, oh, okay. I did not. They're Jennifer partying Coolidge. a little too hard. I mean, we're just yeah. They're yeah. partying a little too hard. She right. was such a key part of the show. She and was for some people that were big fans, but we know. That and if you're a made, vulnerable woman like who's been targeted be... by creepy men, watch it. You'll realize how vindicated, and, and I, you're not alone. We've all ran into we've some all of those in our that, lifetime. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, big news for you. You bought a house. I here. bought a house here in, and I live in Brooklyn, and I live here, and so for the past 35 years of my life. I've oh, I've lived in apartment living, right? So yeah. now I'm in a neighborhood, mm -hmm. and so I'm on next door, which is <laughs> oh boy. sort of like Gladys Kravitz, just just like a lot of nosy people. It's some, it's kind of feels like a racist lost and found sometimes. It's like, should people be in my neighborhood? There was like a can in my backyard. It's like you put it there. You left a can there, ma'am. Um, and then also trying to like. Furniture whole house. Sure. I've been. I'm obsessed with the Facebook free, take free, buy free, yeah. whatever. Some stuff needs to be thrown away. There's literally like expired mm -hmm. jar of beets <laughs> from a cat free home. I'm like, honey, what are you doing? Poisoning people. First of all, when you eat beets, you have to put a post it note up that says, I don't have colon cancer. So you remember that you ate beets and that you're not having an episode. <laughs> but then one was four pieces of string. Just yeah. four pieces of string. I bet people had a lot of time. You know? I mean, the gas money it takes to drive to go pick up four free pieces of string <laughs> no, is no. not unravel a sweater at this that point. Really special string. Um, we have to go. We're running out of time. But really quickly, this summer yes. I featured a St. Paul, Paul gal who did your face yes. in seed art, crop yes. art. What, Christy. Do you have this? What, what yes, happened to the crop I do. art? You do. It was, look, I created a show that has won many Emmys. I have gotten awards to have somebody do your image and seed. And first of all, she didn't ask me. I just all of a sudden got shelled with texts and my Instagram feed was blowing up. They're like, Liz, Liz, I just saw you at the fair. I'm like, I'm You've not made at the it. fair. I'm not at the fair. I'm actually not at the fair. And then I'm looking at Instagram and she, and I cut a ribbon. I was like, I've oh. never been more excited and in you got my a ribbon. life. I like mean, ultimate Minnesota honor. Ultimate Honestly. honor, ma'am. Not Minnesota honor. Just in general. Honor of the world. <laughs> Nobel Prize. Seed art. That is my go-to. I hope that's in your new ranking. house. You know, you, you know, you could die tomorrow, and you've, you've done. I've done it. I have been there. immortalized in seed. And, but sadly, I'm like, who do I, who do I put that to in my will? No one seems <laughs> no. to want it. Sadly. Back to Christy. Back yeah. to Christy. Right. Thank you, Christy. I'll take. All right, Liz. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for and me. you got something coming up. Yeah, Very if you soon. want to watch her on stage this weekend at the Parkway Theater, shows are taking place Friday and Saturday night at 7.30. For tickets, head to theparkwaytheater.com. She has a lot to say.